How you doing folks? Welcome to another episode of Bayview Views. Uh, we are coming up on year end 2022 and we wanted to come to you with some ideas for year end planning and then also provide you with some updated numbers for 2023. The important numbers that you have to look at with regards to contributions and max income, um, uh, Medicare Part B premium limits, all of those things. So. Uh, that'll be a part of this newsletter, so you should be able to click on some of those links and find that data. What I thought I'd do is just give you some highlights of some of the things that we've been focusing on with our clients that are just uh, continuous things that are important, especially as you approach year end. So number one, and probably the most key thing that we see, especially with people that are referred to us with uh, mutual funds, uh, is those uh, embedded capital gains. So. Even if you own funds that, uh, again, are coming to year end, you can find out what those anticipated capital gains are, are going to be for the year. And this is really important, especially year when you've had a down year. You would hate to have then, again, the burden of a tax bill, especially when you've actually lost money for the year. So number two would be, again, uh, complementing that and you would be harvesting, right, uh, any kind of uh, losses this year to offset any of the gains that you might have. And again, these are gains, whether they're inside the portfolio or outside the portfolio with the volatility provides you an opportunity to actually lock in and harvest the tax loss to turn it into a tax asset. And that's so important to do. And again, uh, uh we try to add value as much as possible in that. Um, Number three would be probably consider maximizing, right? Your IRAs, your uh, Roth contributions, your qualified plans at work to try to make sure that you've uh, got as much deductible income as possible. Uh, it might also be even a year where you would consider looking at um, uh, backdoor Roths, right? If you've made too much money, uh, that's where you can actually get money into a traditional IRA by way of a, or into a Roth by way of a, a traditional IRA uh, post-tax contribution. Um, next, I would say look at uh, QCDs. Uh, QCDs, whether you're eligible or not, or, but if you're charitably inclined, look and see if you can make a charitable contribution from your IRA that would actually satisfy the RMD requirement that you would have this year. And that actually makes a lot of sense to do that. Um, if you're taking RMDs, look at doing that from your lowest performing accounts, right? or even your uh, assets that are down the least. And remember with RMDs, I can take it from one account to satisfy many. Uh, I can't do that with all of my 401k plans that are out there, but I can do it with all of my IRAs. So that's another thing we talk about doing. Um, your kids will probably love it when I say this, but <laughs> consider some advanced gifting. Uh, gifting is always great. You remember you get to see your kids enjoy it while they're still alive. And again, you can uh, also give them directly to their 529 uh, accounts. So if you've got some college funding that's happening out there, you can actually do five years in advance. This year it's 16,000, next year it'll be 17,000, but uh, year-end gifting is always a good idea. Um, if you have a high deductible plan, we always say consider making the max HSA, uh, you know, health savings account contribution. Those are, uh, the best of all worlds, pre-tax, gross tax deferred, comes out tax-free, uh, it's, it's a win-win. So you should always be maximizing those HSA contributions wherever possible. Uh, finally, I-bonds, uh, again, another great resource. Remember, you, the limitation is only 10,000 per year that you can put into those. So you can do some in December and then do some again in January. And even with inflation coming down, they're still paying a very healthy interest rate on a relatively risk-free asset, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you're a business member, there are multiple things that you can do, uh, but essentially you are deferring income and accelerating expenses or accelerating deductions into the current year. You can even do that on a personal level uh, when you're looking at maybe possibly itemizing deductions for your personal tax return. But anyway, uh, guys, we love it. Uh, there's lots of things to do. Look at the thing that's attached where there's many more items that are covered there as well. Uh, but we are trying to bring you added value as much as possible to make your year even more successful. We love you guys. Uh, that's another episode of Baby Views. Call us if you have any questions or concerns. We'll be glad to help. Hope you have an awesome Christmas.